A gathering discussing the devastating impact of austerity measures ahead of Godongwana's budget speech. The public health system is said to be among the hardest hit by these budget cuts where clinical posts have been frozen. These posts are frozen against the backdrop of an already strained health system. People from poorer communities are in greater need of health care. And that need is increasing. So I know that in the service that I deliver, we have not had an increase in the number of clinical posts for the last 15 to 20 years. And yet it is quite obvious <coughs> that the population has grown, the population that we serve. So that can only mean that the quality of care that we deliver starts to go down. Critics of austerity measures say they weaken the balance sheet of government departments and that there's no balancing act between capacity and population growth. The, the choice that has been made is to prioritize pay over services. And public sector unions have colluded in that choice, quite frankly. During last year's medium-term budget policy statement, Godongwana announced a revised down spending reduction by 21 billion rand. He also proposed further reductions of 64 billion rand in the 2024-25 financial year and 69 billion rand in the 2025-26 financial year. Communities say they feel the pinch. There is no uh, public lights. Uh, people are being mugged, killed in the evening because they know electricity and there is no infrastructure. Um, the police are few in hospitals. There are shortage of doctors. Well, I can say this is affecting a lot of beneficiaries as a lot of beneficiaries are being excluded unfairly because of all these measures that's taking place. While government says these cuts are implemented in order to repay debt or achieve budget surplus, those against them say they are self-defeating as they undermine future growth and productivity. Lula Mamacha, SAPC News, Cape Town.